welcome back to PCA's garage. It's about 16 degrees outside, and most Porsche owners have their cars tucked away, um, hopefully waiting for a nicer day, or at least until the salt gets off the road. Um, this also is a great opportunity to maybe prep your car for a Concours that's coming up in the spring, or maybe just to you know recondition your vehicle because you've driven it all year. Back in the day, I helped my dad wash the car, and um, annually we'd probably put a coat of wax on it, you know? And there was probably tens or a dozen types of waxes that my dad has bought over the years trying to take care of the car. But in recent years, I've noticed there's a new technology out there that might be a better way for us to take care of our cars. And I wanted to learn more, and that's ceramic coating. And today we've brought in Matt Kelly and Adam Cote from Ceramic Pro to talk to us about what is a ceramic coating, how do you um, have it applied to your car, what cars can they be applied to, and how do you choose somebody to work on your car. The, the whole idea, as I understand with ceramic coating, is you're putting another layer of protection on the car. Now your car might be brand new that has a, a base coat, clear coat system and you're adding a layer of clear or you might have, and here we have a car with over 140,000 miles that the clear coat may not be in the best of condition. How does ceramic coating apply to that car? Basically uh, what we do is, it's based on nanotechnology. So the product permeates into the top layer of the clear coat, basically enhancing that clear coat, making it more dense, more hard and it also makes it super slick. So not only does that increase the gloss, reflectivity, look, appearance, but it also makes it more difficult for things to stick and adhere, and, and therefore also makes it extremely easy to clean, and it doesn't wash out. It can't work its way out of the paint like a wax or a sealant would do in yesteryear. The only way to remove it is with abrasion. I saw you guys at Parade, and you were doing um, the test with this panel. And I'll, I'll ask you to demonstrate again, just to reiterate that, you know, the ceramic that's on the car is almost like a sacrificial clear coat layer. And why don't you do, do the little strike and... So even though, even though we bent this earlier, um, you know, if you have this panel in your hand, you'll notice a few things. One, you have an increased depth, so it's actually more shiny, more black, more glossy than the untreated side. Um, but you can also feel that there's, there's a, a measurable depth increase here. Uh, and, and that depth is, like I said earlier, a permanent solution. And what it's doing is it's increasing the density of the, of the clear coat and adding a sacrificial layer. And so what you can see here is, is that this is a plastic lighter and what, when I bang this across the surface, it's going to uh, create a transferring effect. So. Yeah. So I barely even got any transfer to land on this side. And you can see all the transferring on this side. And if we grab a towel here, you'll see that I can, I can scrub it this side. And then on this side, the transfer easily slides off. So the surface of this has to be harder than over here. So not only are you adding an extra layer, but this layer is harder than your traditional clear coat that came from the factory. Yeah, they rate it about three times harder, so that's where we get the 9H. Uh, the only reason that it is 9H is because that's as high as that testing goes. It's also more slick, so you have, you have less valleys. So if you think of a jagged surface, a jagged surface like this, it would also be more easy to scratch. As something rubs across the surface, you'll get that tick, 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 tick effect. But since all the pores are filled, you end up with a very, very, slick. very slick surface. Well, you can tell it's much more slick as you come across. Now this is for metal, this represents your, your fender, your hood with paint, but I also know you've brought fabric. Different, different specific ceramics for fabric, for wheels, for plastics, so why don't you show me what you got there. So uh, the, the great benefit of having the textile product is that uh, it's not like a <coughs> scotch guard. Uh, scotch guard is going to put a film on top of the surface which is really going to change the feeling of that fabric. It's going to be more brittle and rough and scratchy and sometimes it can even change the color of it. Mm -hmm. It can kind of make it a little bit lighter. Uh, but this product, what it does is it actually absorbs into the individual fibers allowing a breathable netting still in the, uh, the fabric itself. Uh, but we're just going to kind of pour some water on here. This could be coffee, this could be juice in your back seat. Uh, but as you can see, 
the product just kind of rolls or the uh, water rolls around on top of the surface not absorbing into the pores of the fabric because it's already occupied with the silicone. Mm. Kind of mesmerized. Very cool. So yes, uh, this uh, does last for quite a while too. Uh, so you can reapply as necessary, but you, you're going to get a lot of life out of it. Now, is this just for fabrics, or is this also for leather and other vinyls? Or uh, yeah, so we have a solution for every surface. So okay. this product in our lineup is called Textile, but we have so that's for fabrics. It's also for suede. We have a product that's called leather. A product that's called plastic. Okay, specific for that application. Exactly for every every surface. You know, one of the concerns I had was if, if I were to apply ceramic on my car and I get a ding from a shopping cart or a car that was parked next to me and I have my, my paintless dent guy come and try to whittle out that spot, you know, how would you know, the, the, the ceramic react to being forced around. So we can demonstrate that amazingly with this exact same demo plate. So this is the equivalent of a package, we call our gold package, which is five layers of Ceramic Pro. And you can see that I could bend this and it will flex at the same rate as paint without cracking. And uh, we do have 30 third party testing. With, and what they do is they coat a pipe and then they bend it 180 degrees and check for any cracking. Okay, sorry I messed up your, your sample here, but oh, that's, a great, that's, uh, that's, that's a great great way to, to illustrate how it, it does um, flex with a panel. And even if the paint does break free and they have to do any type of uh, repainting on the vehicle, it's as simple as just sanding it down. Our, our coating uh, sits in the very top layers of the clear coat, so as you remove down that clear coat to the base, mm. you've taken the coating off. So and then you can reapply it. Exactly. Okay. And then also, because our, our product is a permanent solution, it's totally insurable. So typically most insurance companies will pay $150 per panel to reapply. So you don't have to worry about that coming out of pocket. Uh, one of the things that uh, you and I have talked about is finding the right person or the right company to apply. So maybe you can share with our audience, you know, what to look for in terms of a, a good installer. We certify all of our, all of our, uh, you know, individual shops that, that apply the product. Um, you know, we really want to get across that this is a high-end service. Although there is a package for every budget, it's not something that you really want to rush out and, and try to do on your own. Um, because for the cost of you doing it one time, you know, you need special tools, you need special equipment, and, and there's a bit of a learning curve. Uh, that's why it's really important to find a certified installer who's been vetted by the manufacturer, who has insurance, who's bonded, who's licensed. And we're really careful to work with that type of uh, professional where you're not going to, to end up with a permanent product on your car yeah. and you don't like the finish. So because we have vetted our guys, they have been uh, trained by our, our uh, facilities and our, our technicians, um, now we can offer the warranty on these packages. So there's several op options out there one that can suit your, your needs with the vehicle. What range of, you know, what should you consider uh, in terms of the condition of your car to be able to, to be able to be a, a candidate to get ceramic coating? Any car or a car that's been well maintained, a driven car, a, obviously with this, this high mileage car, you've done an amazing job. Um, but what, what would you say no to? I sort of use the phrase that the time to protect your car is now, and although that sounds really, really salesy, it's true because you never know what's right around the corner. Um, there's so many things out there that can damage a clear coat, and, and you know our professional installers are really great at two things. We have correction and we have protection. It's important to look at it two ways. So if you have a brand new car, you can probably come in and get you know a very high-end protection service for not that much money, or if you have a car that's a little bit weathered, we can make that car snap back to brand new and then protect it as if it was a brand new car. So it's important to know that, that we're really selling two services. Mm -hmm. Correction, make your car new, make your car stay new. Okay, got it. Now it's complete and done, you pull it out of the bay. How, how has maintenance changed for the owner with regards to driving it, getting it dirty, washing it? Do you handle it differently? Much differently. So, A, you're going to cut a lot of the products out of your garage. You can take your bug uh, removers off the shelf, your tar removers off the shelf. You're not going to need those things anymore. Now you can simply just use a, a pH balanced soap. You simply just foam up the car, 
You can use a typical wash mitt, uh, rinse it, and then I, what I like to do is blow dry it. Uh, because even taking a, a soft towel, sometimes if you get something caught in it, mm -hmm. you can now scratch it. So I prefer just blow drying the car, which I can do, and I've timed myself about five minutes, you could do a, a car of this size. And one of the things that Porsches are known for, um, and especially daily driven Porsches, they're known for having good brakes, but then their brakes also produce a lot of dust. And I think probably the biggest thing that I focus on when I wash my cars are the wheels. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have a product that's dedicated to, there it is, um, dedicated to protecting the wheel. And how long does that last? And I'm assuming that makes cleaning much easier. Mm -hmm. So this is a product that you can put right onto the wheel. Um, now, whereas you would obviously coat the face, most of the benefit happens back here in the barrel because that's where all the brake dust is going to sit. So once this is coated, uh, it's very easy to just take a pressure washer. Uh, you can use a little bit of chemical to kind of break down the brake dust, uh, but it is not going to embed itself to the surface. Well, thank you guys so much for providing the education. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'm sure we'll be showing you how they did a great job on this boxer. Thanks, Boo.